guys, welcome back from Christina. I hope you all are doing amazing and I hope you are doing really good. So, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, I do Pokemon card unboxings, I do a lot of art tutorials, a lot of testing art products and supplies, and stuff like that. And for all those who are returning, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. So, today I was trying to think of what tutorial and I asked on Twitter. What type of art tutorial would you like? And a common one that seemed to get asked was different eyes on how to do anime style eyes. So every style of mangaka or manga creator has a different way of creating anime. Like creating anime eyes. If you look through like Juju Katsun, um, let's see if I can find like a close point of the character's eyes. Okay, like characters of their eyes are normally drawn. As you can see, it's normally drawn kind of small but kind of big. And then for it just depends. Each character is going to have different size eyes depending on what you're wanting to do. If you're wanting to do more of a emotional character, you might want to do a little bit bigger eyes, if you want to do more of a villainous type of it, you might want to draw the eyes a little more thinner, so let's show one. So one would be like a, whatever villain you want to go with, there's so many actually to go with, so. And I'm using a 09 pencil. If you want to draw a more villainous type of character, you could draw typically the eyes would be more on the smaller side, and that would be one way of doing it. Eyes can create all side, all sorts of motion sets depending on what you're wanting. If you're wanting to create a character that maybe doesn't show as much emotion, what you would do is you would take this eye and kind of more heavily shade it. And basically it could sharpen this line here. And you could create almost kind of emotionless type of character. Now most girls in the that are done drawn in anime typically have they typically have wider set eyes. They will normally have feathering at the ends of the eyelashes like this. And then they would heavily shade it. This is just one idea. And then typically they would have where this part will get shaded very heavily. And then here would be your eye, of course, with the highlights put in. And then they would have this part a little lighter. If you're wanting to create villain characters, good eye colors could be red or purple, depending on what you're wanting to do. If you're wanting a 
the other eye style is this. This one I've noticed seems to be more common in the um, by Shoshin kind of beachy style you know, artwork that I've seen on Instagram and all those. And typically they would have where the eye bottom part doesn't even really meet. And then they would add that and then that would be the eyebrow. Or you could draw it thicker depending on your preference of what you're wanting the art to be. If you want to do Sailor Moon style, however, the eyes will probably take almost 90% of the face. And then you'll probably have the nose somewhere in this region and then the mouth in that section. I'm just going to draw circles for idea. And then typically you would have the eye goes right here. This would be heavily lightened normally with two integrating colors, which could be virtually any kind of eyes you could think of. you wanted to do like the where they're smiling typically you would start doing this make a thick black line and then you would probably add feathering I guess or the lash parts and then you would outline this part all of this and then you would go like this for girls, the eyebrows tend to kind of have where it's thin and then it gets bigger at the end. I don't know why. That's just how most of the styles I've seen with do. If you are wanting to do kind of a sleeping version, you could draw the, la the lash part of the eye, which would be pointing down. And then add a line up here to suggest that that is the eyelid. And then you would add your lashes. Ugh, that breaks me. For like something like this eye if you wanted um how I used to draw water lines in here is I would add these squiggly lines at top and then I'd blend in the blue and then I would have normally a line coming either from this side or this side to show that the tears are coming out of the eyes. Personally, that is up to you. Every person has a different art style. It's definitely up to you what you feel is best. And if you want to draw a more teenage style character, you could have the eye like this, and then draw the eye part slightly smaller compared to its um, other cut parts. So if you took this and then curled this up, you could create an almost worried type look. Um, do keep in mind that whatever colors you use are going to have to coincide. If it's if the eyes are colored digitally then you could maybe do any like water or like crying tears you would probably have to add a slightly almost clear white with slight blue to indicate that if you want you could have where the line part comes down and then you can have where this line comes like this. And then you can add the lash parts and then add the lash parts at the end for another idea. Now 
and another style could be like this, where the eyes are slight. This will work well if you wanted to create the motion that the characters get tired or worn out. This one would be if you wanted to create almost a looking at you type of look, but not really. If you wanted to do a vampire character, I would suggest having the lash it drawn like this. Well, this would be if it's a girl character, because then you could add the winged eyeliner on if you want. It's up to you. Um, another one. You could have this for... And anyways, just experiment. You never know what art style you might like or eye colors that you might want. But anyways, please be sure to like, um, subscribe, and comment what videos you'd like to see. I'd love to hear from my, to my subscribers what type of videos you'd want me to do. It does mean a lot. Um, help me beat the YouTube algorithm and help me get these views up. I'd like to at least... Let's try to make this video get up to maybe 50 likes and get the views up to maybe 60. Otherwise, just copy link, share this video on your Twitter, whatever social media you use, and I would love to see... I would love to, you know, hear from you on what type of art you typically want to see next, or if you want... If you like sketchbook sessions more, stuff like that. Anyways, anyways, can't wait to see you in this week's on Saturday's video for a live stream and a painting along with your video.